Hi, good morning. Again, another interesting judgment by Delhi High Court. MRPL versus Micro and Mall Enterprises Facilitation Council. Uh, the facts of the case, Driplex was a registered small scale industrial unit. Before 2006 Act was introduced, that is a Micro Small Medium Enterprises Development Act was introduced. There was another act in which it was registered. MRPL invited bids for supply and services for a particular project. I don't want to give the entire name of that project. Bid submitted by Diplex was accepted. Letter of acceptance was also issued. 18 months was the time to complete the project. The final date of completion was 31 5, 2011, but was completed by Diplex in March 2013. MRPL issued a completion certificate. Driplex uh, submitted its final bill. MRPL withheld some amount. Uh, before uh, issuing the amount, Driplex issued a no objection certificate also. MRPL's contention was that after issue of NOC, nothing was due and payable. Driplex said no, no. Something is due, you have to pay it. Driplex preferred an application under Section 16 of the MSMED Act with the Facilitation Council for the unpaid claims. So, MSMED provisions are uh, very stringent and uh, you have to make the payment within 45 days. So, that is the provision. The Facilitation Council tried to conciliate between the parties. Uh, they did not agree, so they referred the matter to arbitration. A writ petition was filed by the MRPL, challenging the reference to arbitration. The single judge dismissed the writ petition. A writ appeal was filed. Issue before the court was whether the provisions of the MSMED Act will apply retrospectively. According to MRPL, only micro or small scale industries registered under 2006 Act would be considered as supplier. The sum and substance of the argument if you take, it was the liability to pay within 45 days and the interest to pay as a consequence of non-payment that will get triggered. This is very important. If at the time when the agreement was arrived at between the buyer and supplier, the supplier must have obtained the registration under Section 8 of MSMED Act. So, the contention of MRPL was at the time when you are entering into agreement, you must have been registered under the MSMED Act. Uh, in the Before the single judge, this uh, issue was considered by the advocate. But they said that since the matter, in the writ appeal they said, since the matter relates to jurisdiction, uh, even though it was considered before the single bench, we have the right to argue the case and the court also accepted that. Uh, in the meantime, when the writ appeal was pending, award was also pronounced by the arbitral tribunal and uh, this was also challenged by MRPL by way of section 34 application. The issue regarding the applicability of, of the MSMPD Act was also pending before the uh, 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 Section 34 application. The court cautioned the advocate, sir, if you decide, uh, if I decide this, then uh, in your application they may not be able to decide. But the advocate said, no, no problem, you can go ahead. That is what the advocate said with the court. Uh, Delhi High Court held that. Uh, uh, Section 8 gives a di discretion to the micro or small enterprises as also the medium enterprises rendering services to register itself with the authority. It will not take them out from the ambit of definition of supplier because it is only a discretion. So, as a secretor, the benefits of securing timely payment that will also apply to them. 
the supplier would also be entitled to interest if the buyer did not pay in time. The uh, argument of MRPL that only micro and small enterprises which registered under the 2000 Act either prior to or at the time when the agreement was made between the supplier and buyer, they are only eligible for seeking the benefits. Uh, under the provisions of the MSC Media Act, this was not accepted by the court. The court said that the submission is inconsistent with the uh, plain reading of Section 8 because it gives a discretion. In case of services, there is a, uh, they can register or they may not register also. Failure to register under Section 8 before execution of a given contract will not deprive an enterprise of the beneficial provisions contained in the MSMED Act. Court noted that MRPL and Driplex entered into agreement in 2009. Driplex submitted for registration in 2011. Project was completed in 2013. Since it is a turnkey contract, the work has to be continued even after it obtained the registration. The argument of MRPL that there was no material on record to conclude the execution of work post registration, it was not accepted. In this connection, the finding given by the arbitral tribunal was accepted by the court. The court concluded that council had jurisdiction to refer disputes to arbitration. With regard to the other issue, uh, the no objection certificate was issued, hence uh, you cannot uh, uh, claim it now after issuing the no objection certificate. That was the contention of the MRPL. The court refused to interfere because you have already filed an application under section 34. You please go there and uh, make all your submissions there. That is what the court said. Uh, the writ appeal was finally dismissed. So the interesting point is, it is not necessary that you should be a registered, uh, you, you must have a registration uh, under section 8 of the MSMED Act at the time of entering into agreement. You can register yourself even post the agreement. That is what the judgment says. Thank you very much. Have a great day.